Hi, Matthew Poon here, photographer for The Advocate newspaper. I'm here with Jude Taylor of Taylor Studios talking about the upcoming Spring Open Days. So Jude, can you tell me more about your Spring Open Day? Well, Spring has always been a time when people at the Valley is looking wonderful and our Open Day is sort of encouraging people to come out and see just what we are doing at Taylor's, what we can offer them, uh, how they can use Taylor's for more than just a cup of coffee, uh, so we are encouraging people to come and hear my talk. I'm giving a talk at 11 every Saturday morning about in my workshop and showing them how I actually do cut my linos out, print them up, uh, so they can actually see how the, the process of making a lino cut, see how, how involved it all is. I hear yes. a bit more, more of my story. Uh, we've also got a, a silversmith a lady, Beth Whitlinton, is here and she'll be doing the same thing at 2 o'clock. And this Saturday we've actually got Anne Annette's coming to show, to talk about gardens and how you can use Mediterranean gardens here in our West Australian climate, which is very Mediterranean. And she'll also take you a bit of a tour of our garden here. We are here at Taylor's are developing our own veggie gardens, so we would like to more grow our own food and serve it to you. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's encouraging people to come and enjoy the valley when it really is at its most beautiful. It's also people coming to see my artwork, which is very um, representative of West Australia. It's really quite a unique West Australian experience. So if you've got overseas visitors, great place to bring them. They can get a feel of just who we are in West Australia, yeah. which is quite unique. So what does Taylor's offer people? We offer friendly, uh, friendly service, uh, uh, an interesting and creative environment, the best coffee in the valley, great fresh food, an art gallery plus a um, fabrics that I have created from my patterns of wildflowers. So sort of lovely um, presents for people to visit if they're going overseas or if they've got visitors coming from overseas. There's the presents that are the only place you can buy them is here and they do represent West Australia. So they're quite unique. What inspires your artwork? My artwork is inspired by my surroundings which are West Australian, harsh, bright light, big space, and of course, the wonderful wildflowers that survive in that harsh environment. Cool, thanks for your time. My pleasure. To read the full story and more, check out the next issue of The Advocate newspaper.